Now, why do we need a test of homogeneity variance? That's because in ANCOVA, we have a combination of regression and ANOVA. For the part of the covariate, that's the regression analysis. We're going to regress the dependent variable on the covariate. And what cannot be explained by the covariate, the variance in the dependent variable that cannot be explained by the covariate, is what being tested and compared in the ANOVA part of the analysis. Here we have the test of homogeneity variance. The F test has a value of 1.945, which has a P value of 0.168. The P is greater than alpha, so we're uh, going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. In other words, we meet the assumption of homogeneity variance. With that in mind, now we're going to move on to the ANCOVA table right here. It's called the test of between subject effect. Uh, as we did in ANOVA, you can ignore the three lines, the corrected model, the intercept, and the line next to the bottom, the total line. So one, two, three line can be ignored. The first thing we want to verify is the initial weight as a covariate, does it explain a significant amount of variance in the dependent variable? Here is a test, and the p-value is lower than 0 0.001, which means we reject the null hypothesis. And we are going to go with the alternative hypothesis, which says there is a significant relationship between the rate of weight gain and the initial weight of the uh, participants of the study. We want to have a significant relationship between the covariate and the dependent variable because that means a significant amount of unexplained variance can be removed by this covariate. If in a study of um, ANCOVA test and you find out your covariate is not significant related to your dependent variable, you could just simply remove it from your study and run the ANOVA instead. Knowing that the covariate explained a significant amount of variance in the dependent variable ensures us that this ANCOVA test is statistically more powerful than sim simply running ANOVA with diet being the independent variable. So the primary interest of this analysis is to see whether a diet made a difference in the rate of weight gain. In other words, after removing covariate from the dependent variable, the means of the three diet groups, are they statistically different or they, there's no significant difference? So this line in the ANCOVA table, the diet line, that has the test. We have a p-value again lower than 0 0.001, so we are going to reject the null hypothesis, conclude that there are significant differences in the rate of weight gain for participant for participants who are on the three different diets. Since we have three groups, three different diets, rejecting the null hypothesis for the independent variable lead to the next question. Which group is different from which group? So we need to do a post hoc test. To do the post hoc test, you actually just go to the same place. We started the analysis. And appears that you do not have a post hoc option. But what you can do is go back to the place called options. Remember that we have a place that set display means for the groups defined by the diet. 
what you need to do here is do the uh, compare main effect. You don't have to change anything here. The default should be fine. Uh, just click on continue and OK. You can see that in addition to the part of the output we already seen, you have a pairwise comparison that shows if we use R equals 0.05, all three pairs of the means, microbiotic versus low fiber, have significant difference in their rate of weight gain. The group of microbiotic versus high fiber also have significant difference. And the last group, low fiber versus high fiber, also have a significant difference in their rate of weight gain. So this is the end of our and COVID test in SPSS.